That time I realized that they were really like in danger. And if we did not do anything, they could even go extinct. My name is Olivier Nsenjimana. I come from Rwanda. I work to save the endangered grey crowned cranes, also known as East African cranes. My inspiration is something that started a long time ago when I was a little boy. I grew up in a village and my life, all my life was all around animals, especially the grey crowned cranes. I saw them playing, I saw them dancing, calling, and that was really a highlight of my life. But I never knew that I was going to be able to I was going to be saving animals. When I met people who were doing some conservation work, that I realized that the conservation is me. It's just what I'm meant to do with my life. I really fell in love with it. So my first job was to be a gorilla doctor, but I didn't forget my beautiful birds from my childhood, the gray crown cranes. Um, I started exploring, saying what was happening with the cranes, and that time I realized that they were really like in danger. And if we did not do anything, they could even go extinct. So it made me really sad. And I wanted really to do something about it. So that's how I started a project or an organization to start conservation work to save the cranes. The great crown cranes are seen as a symbol of wealth and longevity. So many people love them. But unfortunately, they are also extremely in danger. And this is because the human population is, is really high. The density is high. And that means there is a competition of resources. So many wetlands that the cranes usually use for, uh, for food and for breeding are being transformed to produce enough food for people. And that puts a pressure on habitat of cranes. And the other biggest threat is when people want to have them as pets in their gardens. And when they end in captivity, people cut feathers to stop them from flying. And sometimes they end up injuring them and when they're in captivity, they die of stress, malnutrition, and they can't breed. So we've lost, we've lost a huge number of these cranes in this uh, kind of trade. I agreed with people who have them to give them back to us. So for the last couple of years, we've been like, collecting all the captive cranes, putting them under staged uh, reintroduction process. It means we check for their health, like uh, we look at disease, everything. And if we think they can give, be given a second chance to go back to the wild, we take them back to their natural habitat and then they will be released into the wild. But also we invest a lot of efforts into community work. We know that the community who are poaching, sometimes they're, it's, it's, they're driven by lack of awareness, poverty, uh, but also there is a lack of enforcement, law enforcement, because the great crown cranes are protected under the laws. We are educating communities and we are educating the young people to make sure we can forge a generation of future conservationists if we can give them a chance to do conservation work and maybe make a living out of it, it's a, it's a way to changing them and it's a way to sustainability. So we are touching all the elements to make sure our results are sustainable in the long term. Many people, they think uh, conservation is it's for them, it's for the government, it's for those people, but it's for everyone. Everyone can do the little thing to help. And it's now. And if we can do it collectively, and we are going to may have a huge impact. So the Future for Nature Award is going to help us continue our efforts to saving the cranes and live there in our country forever and ever. Yeah, conservation is a tough one, but if you believe that something is right, you are fighting the good cause, don't give up. It's up and down. There are moments when you feel like, I want to give up. What am I doing? But that's the moment when everything is nearly paying off. So I want to tell my fellow conservationists, just what we are fighting is hard, but just hang in. And when we see the results, it's worth it. It's worth the effort. And we can do it. To know more about Future for Nature Award winners of 2019, please click here.